Music Access. Being free from the words we don't want to hear. I can already feel an amazing weekend coming on now. When we say words we don't want to hear, simply put, it's being scolded, right? I think there's really no one who is completely free from all the nagging, especially from those people living with their parents. Honestly, if we just avoid the things our parents tell us not to do, or if we show no damage or harsh jokes toward others, and if we don't show our laziness over the weekend, then we can at least avoid extreme scolding, don't you think? And how do I know so well? Oh, you know, we live lives experiencing similar things. Your head tells you not to do it, but because your body won't stop, you repeatedly hear all the scolding. I'm sure everyone, including me, understands this point, but let's try to switch it up at least for this weekend. Uh, let's at least try to. Got it? The first song you heard today, Saturday, May 30th, 2015, was Marry You by Bruno Mars. And wow, today is already the last Saturday of May. I want to know if May of 2015 went by extremely slow for you guys, or maybe faster than usual. For me, this month was so hectic, super busy, you know, started, you know, all this stuff, you know, doing all these performances. And, you know, honestly, it was like a super, super fast month for me. You know, as time goes by as an idol and just, like, you know, having stuff to do, uh, it's really interesting how much faster time goes because you're always doing something. So then at the end of the day, it's not, oh, today was a long day, but more instead of, okay, so I did this and this and this today, and tomorrow, what do I need to do? And you start planning out, you know, the days ahead so uh I guess it's a good month and all, you know, hopefully next month I'll be able to get a little more uh, under control everything. Alright, and I want to know how you guys felt, and for those who have anything to say, go ahead and share your stories with me on our message board. And on Saturdays, we go on a sweet email date, you and I with You've Got Mail, and it's the corner for a picture diary of the things you remember most out of the week on Benji's Picture Diary. And in the second hour, we're going to find out what you guys are doing over the weekend with You've Got Message. So let me know what you guys are doing, what your plans are, and the songs you want to listen to. Alright, and I've mentioned this before, starting next Monday on June 1st, almost all Adirang Radio programs, including Music Access, are getting ready for a facelift. So for those who are curious, go ahead and check out the homepage for every program. It would even cheer us up for you guys to leave encouraging comments and even messages to participate in our new corner. Oh, and uh, almost all the male DJs here are really good looking, by the way. But there's one guy in particular who catches all the attention. And his name is... Uh, what's his name? He, he's new here. It's like Ben... Ben, no, no, it's Ben, Benjina, not Benjina, Beans, no, and I don't know what his name is. Anyway, he's super talented, so please, you know, listen carefully as we introduce all the messages shared, and I'll let you hear all your guys' requested songs. And on Monday, June 1st, look forward to what Music Access and Arirang Radio has to offer to get you guys with all new, fresh, boom. Yep. Alright, and here's a quick reminder for our Sunday Corners. We have a chance to read your messages that we didn't have time to get to during the week with You and Me song, as well as message time. And we also have a corner for our family to ask any questions you're curious about, and I'll answer them right on the spot with Just Ask Benji right now. If you have any questions for me, let me know. Just ask your questions by writing Just Ask on your title, and I'll answer them for you during the second hour of our Sunday broadcast. Here's how you can listen and participate. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio application on your smartphone, and you can also send us messages through the app using the comment function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave your messages there on our message board. Another way you can tune in is through terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.74 Jeju City, 88.1 for Seogipo and 101.9 for Daejeon. 
And remember, guys, if you want to hear any songs or recommend any songs or let me hear a song or let your boyfriend or girlfriend hear a song that listens to Music Access, go ahead by posting a message under the title Request on our message board so you can get those songs on the air. All right, now let's check out two songs before we come back with You've Got Mail. The first song is Shake It Off, Shake It Off by Taylor Swift, followed by Rude by Magic. Instead of saying sorry, instead of saying I miss you, instead of saying I love you, you've got mail. You've Got Mail is for our MA listeners to write about something special that happened to them during the week and writing it like a real letter. It could be something that happened with your family, it could be a letter written to a family member, or if it was an incident with a friend, you could write the letter to your friend too. If you're really shy, you don't have to put your name on it and we'll keep it anonymous. Anyone who wants to send out a heartfelt message to a friend, family member, schoolmate, etc., you can send the letter on to us on our message board under the title You've Got Message and I'll deliver it for you on air every Saturday at this time. Yep, so let's check out our first email. And our first message comes from Komnuna from Thailand. It says, Hi Benji, me again, Komnuna from Thailand. I have a message from my sis, Little Byol. She said she will be back to listen to your sexy voice next week. Absolutely. How are you doing today, Benji? Thailand is still very, very hot. I feel like 43 degrees Celsius out here. By the way, I'll be going to Seattle to study for my MBA this September. Can you suggest anything about Seattle for me? Finally, have a nice day, Benji. Let's see. First of all, um, good luck studying. And、uh, Seattle is much, much cooler than Thailand. So, you know, I wouldn't, you know, say、uh, to dress too. Prepare to dress for too hot weather.、Um, if I had to suggest one thing about Seattle, I'd recommend you know, just taking time and don't plan out your thing. Just like don't plan out a trip. If you want to plan out you know, a hiking trip, because you know, they have a lot of beautiful nature there,、um, you, know, you can do that. But just take a day off, you know, go into the city, downtown Seattle, and just walk around and enjoy everything. Cause, because Be, Seattle is just so close to the water. So you have beautiful weather. You have water. If it's September, it's going to be a, maybe a little bit chilly. So, you know, maybe bring a jacket or something. But overall, just, you know, taking that time off, you know, don't focus too much on, you know, listening to music with headphones on either. It blew up the sounds of the city because Seattle has a lot of unique things to offer. And just walking around and experiencing that, I'm sure you'll be able to have a great time and relax after. Studying hard, so yeah, just walk around downtown. That's what I'd recommend. Thank you for writing in. And now let's check out two songs before we move on. The Ploy of Thailand requested Right There by Ariana Grande featuring Big Sean. And Lila of Tunisia wants to hear I'm Not the Only One by Sam Smith. What's up? We're back on Music Access's first hour of our Sunday show, and you're listening with Benji of BIG. And it's time for Benji's Picture Diary. This is for us to think back on this week and remember memorable moments here at Music Access and try to draw it into a picture. So I finished my diary for today. Let's take a look. <laughs> Benji's Picture Diary. As the final week of May comes to a close, and we bring in our new guests, such as Sam, it's making me think a lot about how long it's been since I've become a DJ. I've become much more comfortable, and at the same time as I've become more comfortable, Music Access is going to get a new facelift starting the next week. So, essentially, what I'm really excited about is a new, new future for Music Access and what I can bring to the show in my own flavor as a DJ. 
So I hope that whatever I try and whatever I do, that it comes out great, and I'll always, always, always do my best on Saturday, May 30th from Benji. All right, so I just read a diary that I wrote, and now I also drew a picture that goes along with my writing. So uh, the picture that I drew, it's very simplistic. It's a little bit deep, but I'm sure you guys will be able to understand it. Um, I drew first on the left music access. I wrote it in big block lettering, and I colored it in. You know, put a lot of cute drawings around it, and then I put a red arrow in the middle. Pointing to a question mark, also filled with colors, but the question mark has no boundaries. This symbolizes for me the fact that I came into Music Access, where it was a program that had everything kind of you know set, and then as I've come into the program and we're starting to you know try to make new、uh, aspects and new faces for Music Access, changes that. I myself am not a hundred percent sure about in terms of you know I'm not sure how things are going to turn out, you know I'm not sure how you guys are going to react to it, you know bringing in you know whether it's a new guest or a new corner or anything, but whatever it is, I'm sure you're going to love it. And then on top of the red arrow, I drew a panda because、uh, as you guys may or may not know, we did receive a panda as a gift for this week, and I decided to make it our mascot, and so、uh, hopefully. By the time that everything comes together, we're not only will we have that great mascot to guide us through, along with me, of course, but we'll also have a lot of brand new fun times here on Music Access. So, I'll be putting up my drawing on our photo gallery after the show. So check it out and leave me some comments. You know how it is, how good it is, how good of a drawer I am, how deep I am, how much of an artist. You know, anything. <laughs> All right, so now let's check out two songs before we come back with more. You've got mail. The first song is requested by Yuki Tang of Vietnam, and it's "The Heart Wants What It Wants," followed by Paulina Yoko from Mexico requested "See You Again" by Wiz Khalifa featuring Charlie Puth. We're back, and we just heard "The Heart Wants What It Wants" by Selena Gomez, followed by "See You Again" by Wiz Khalifa featuring Charlie Puth. And now it's time for your emails and messages with you've got mail here in the first hour of Music Access Saturday. And our next email comes from Natasha from Australia, saying, "Hi Benji, I'm sorry I haven't been able to listen to Music Access much this week, and it'll be the same next week. I've been super busy with work lately. We have a light show going on in Sydney at the moment. It runs for about two and a half weeks." This year, the place I work is in the path of the light show, so we're staying open for longer. So I've extended work hours. It's good, but tiring, and I'm sad that I have to miss out on so much of music access. Take care, Benji, from an Australian beginning. Beginning in the house. Roop, roop. It's okay. Don't worry about it. The important thing is the fact that you're able to tune in, and of course, once the light show ends, you know you'll be able to tune in as you used to. And I'm really curious about the light show in Australia. You know, let me know. You know, take some pictures, post it up on our message board because I'm really curious to see what it's like. You know, light shows. We had a. I went to a laser show once when I used to live in Seattle, and those things were really, really cool. I'd recommend checking it out for those of you who haven't seen one. So,、uh, yeah, Natasha, don't worry about it. You know, next week when you come back, or next next week when you come back, we're gonna have a lot of more fun new times. So, be prepared to be amazed. Yep. All right. So now let's check out two more songs requested by our listeners. The first song requested by Nak Hyun of Vietnam and Anne Sophie of Malaysia is "Anya Seo" by B.I.G. and Mika of Japan requested "First Kiss" by Sunny of Sonia Shide. We're back, and we just heard "Anya Seo" by B.I.G. followed by "First Kiss" by Sunny of Girls' Generation. And I want to sincerely thank those who are all continuously sending us messages for "You've Got Mail." And starting next week, our Saturday corner "You've Got Mail," as well as our Sunday corner "You and Me" song, all our weekend corners will transform. But 
but I, I don't freak out, guys. It's okay because the weekends will still be left to introduce all the messages as well as requested songs. So don't worry about it. Now let's check out two songs before we go on. The first song is Pare by FT Island, requested by Dulce of Mexico, followed by Parame Nalio by Pechigi featuring Punchy, requested by Sevki of Turkey. And we're back. So right after a short music break, we'll be back with You've Got Message where we'll find out about what our family members are up to this weekend. The song is Shots by Imagine Dragons. Yeah. What's up? You're listening to Music Access with me, Benji of B.I.G. And our first song starting off the second hour of our show for Saturday, May 30th was Miss Beauty by Be The Voice. Here's how you guys can listen and participate. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio app on your smartphones, and you can also send us messages through it using the comment function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website, www.arirangradio.com slash musicaccess, and leave your messages there on our message board. Another way you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Seogipo, and 101.9 for Daejeon. Now let's check out two songs before we come back with You've Got Message. The first song is Work, Play Hard, uh-huh, Play Hard by David Jetta featuring Neo and Akon, followed by Crazy Stupid Love by Sheryl Cole featuring Tiny Tempa. We're back and we just heard Play Hard by David Jetta featuring Neo and Akon, followed by Crazy Stupid Love by Sheryl Cole featuring Tiny Tempa. What's up? I'm Benji of B.I.G., the host for Music Access, and what are you doing this weekend? Let me know what you're up to by sending me a short message. And now let's go to our first message for You've Got Message. We have Jenny Wu from the USA saying, Hi Benji, tuning in from the greater Boston area. I enjoy listening to you and all thanks to a good friend of mine who recommended this to me. Ever since she recommended this to me, I've been listening after work and it always makes my day better. Woo! Jenny turn up from the Crater Boston area. Whoop whoop. I mean, I have friends who go to school in the uh, in the Boston area and you know, I went there once for a trip. It's like really beautiful the city. Uh lots of great places, lots of history there. Although, if you're listening from Boston, this broadcast should be like super super late. So I mean, you know, I guess if you're listening to music access that late, you should turn up at the same time, you know, somehow in the very uh, greater Boston area style. But always thank you for tuning in and tune in more and more. We're going to have a new changes coming up, so stick around for that. All right, now let's check out two songs before we move on. The first song is Honja Sani by Teen Top, requested by Denchi of the Philippines. And Aaron of the USA wants to hear Take Me Away by You Kiss. Police sounds. Get down on the ground. No, I'm just kidding. We're back, and we just heard Honja Sani by Teen Top, followed by Take Me Away by You Kiss. And now, back to taking a look at our family members' plans and events for the weekend with You've Got Message. Our next message comes from Chandler Bradley from the USA. Hashtag, what's up, Chandler? Saying, OMG, Benji. So I went to see Pitch Perfect 2, and there was a character named Benji in there as well. What? He was super adorable and really funny, but he turned into a big teddy bear whenever the girl he liked came around. Spoiler alert, please. I mean, OMG. I definitely believe with all my heart that you were the inspiration for that character. Heck, you could have played him better for all I know. Hopefully, we'll get to see that sexy charm of yours on the big screen for real one day. Stay you, Benji. Hashtag B.I.G. Fighting. And a new hashtag. Hashtag Binging on Benji. I really like that. It's, it, I, it's got that thing that just kind of rolls off the tongue. And Pitch Perfect too. I haven't seen it yet. I saw the first movie and I fell in love with Anna Kendrick because she's like super adorable. And like the music and how they like made the acapella. You know, everything was great. And then I saw the trailer for uh, the new movie. And for those of you who don't know, in the trailer for the new movie, they play Fantastic Baby by Big Bang. Which is interesting, because I don't know how it shows up in the movie, because I haven't seen it quite yet. But uh, if, you know, that song's in the movie, and there's a guy called Benji in the movie, I mean, obviously, we're already hashtag winning, right? 
But yeah, I guess I gotta check it out, Chandler. It sounds like a really, really super cool movie. And who knows? I might be on the big screen, the silver screen one day, hopefully. We'll have to wait and find out. All right, now let's check out two more songs before we move on. The first song requested by Samantha of Australia is Napunky Chippe, Na Napunky Chippe by CL. And Ashdi of Sri Lanka requested Shisandul Shisandhana by EXO. Yeah, we're back and we just heard Napun Kijibe by CL, the one and only baddest female, followed by Shisandul Shisandhana by EXO. Yep. All right, now spending Saturdays with my MA family here on You've Got Message. Our next message comes from Danielle from Australia, from Down Under. Saying, hello, Benji, how are you today? I'm feeling okay, maybe 50% okay. What? Saying, yesterday I was going to join in with my friends and joke around, but when I did, they got angry and attacked me, saying I was rude. It makes me sad that this always happens to me, but not to them when they do the same thing. When I've tried to be serious, they always seem to make it a joke and it hurts. After doing this, they ask me why I don't talk much or join in on the fun when it's clearly obvious why I'm silent. I'm glad that there are people out there that like my comments and jokes and listen to what I have to say like my mom, you, the MA family, and even other past and present DJs of Arirang Radio. It's a shame that we all live so far apart. Today I was also ignored by those people. I find it really hard to confront people with my problems or even to start conversations. I really hope to still be friends with them. Do you know how I could change my attitude towards talking with people? Hmm, let's see. Well, Danielle, when it comes to friends like these, honestly, you know, if I'm going to be straight with you on it, if if it becomes that much of a problem in terms of, you know, just being straight up with them, then I don't know if I would really want to continue to be friends with people like that. Because for me, a friend is someone who supports you. You know, they don't have to, you know, your best friend, you know, might be the one who supports you or, you know, the one who is very, very direct with you. But a friend, that term itself for me defines someone who supports you and you support them. You can lean on each other. They're positive and they're straight when they need to be. You know, that for me is a friend. And then if if they're treating you like this, you know, I feel like, you know, they're maybe not the best kind of friends. But if you feel like you want to confront them about it, you know, then you need to be direct when you need to be direct. You know, in life, some people are doing it intentionally and some people really just don't know. And that's the important thing that they need to know. And if no one tells them, then, you know, sometimes, Danielle, you might need to be that role to step up and say, hey, you know, this is wrong. You shouldn't treat people like this. So, you know, hopefully your situation works out. But, you know, when it comes to talking with people, for me, I throw away my inhibitions and I just kind of go up to them and be friendly and open and sunny, you know. Uh, there is a saying where... Uh, in Korea, called uh, which means you can't spit in a smiling face. But for me, it holds much more meaning than that. For me, it's more, if you smile at someone, you know, that's a positive thing. And no one can really look at someone who's smiling and say something negative. So, you know, greet people, you know, if you're greeting new people with an open heart, a smile. And I'm sure you'll get positive feedback wherever you go. You know, it's worked for me so far, so I'm sure it'll work for you. So, Danielle, I hope your situation works out and good luck with that. All right, now let's check out two songs before we move on. The first song is Kone Mogoyo by Zion T. Oh my God, Hardim. Followed by Maon by IU. We're back and we just heard Kone Mogoyo by Zion T. Followed by Maon by IU. Back to your emails with You've Got Mail. Our next one comes from DN Lee from Korea saying, Hello, Benji. These days you have pursued the way of manly men and you said that you realized manly men have to be gentle. I'm happy you said that. I saw you for the first time about two months ago on ASC VOD and the guest at the time was 4 Minute. I got to know B.I.G. recently because I couldn't watch TV for a long time because I was very busy, but I knew B.I.G.'s song, Annyeonghaseyo. I didn't know the singer was B.I.G. at the time. My first impression of you was that you were very, very cute and thoughtful to the guests, so I appreciated you inwardly because I like 4 Minute and you were very thoughtful to them. I like your thoughtfulness. 
P.S. Now I love Benji of B.I.G. more than for a minute. Oops, sorry for a minute. This is part of it. I didn't say that. Anyways, but, um, you know, actually, when it comes to that kind of episode, first of all, I, you know, manly men, remember, guys, you have to be gentle as well. It's part of being a gentleman. And uh, the important thing is, uh, when it comes to that ASC episode with 4 Minute, uh, the thing about that was, I was super, 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 super nervous because I really liked 4 Minute as well. And uh, of course, in Korea, you know, for me, they would be uh, like a big sambe or big senior. And so I was really actually nervous about how to react for it. But uh, I did my best in terms of, you know, as a new idol. And as an MC, kind of uh, just making sure everything ran smoothly. And I think it went pretty well, you know. One of the things that stood out to me most was uh, at the time, we were also promoting for uh, Between Night and Music, uh, I think a few weeks later. And uh, uh, one of the members of Foreman actually recognized me backstage at one of the music broadcasts. So, you know... Juniors go to greet their seniors at music programs. So we go up to their, uh, you know, we knock and we go, all right, we'd like to, you know, deliver our greeting. You know, that's something that we do as idols. And so, you know, we do the whole, hey, B.I.G., you know, 안녕하세요, B.I.G.입니다, you know, all that stuff. You know, we're B.I.G. And then, uh, you know, we deliver our album to our seniors as a way of showing our respect. And then uh, one of the members of Formant was like, oh, hey, you were on that uh, ASC program that we did. And then one of them actually remembered my name. I was so honored. He's like, your name is Benji, right? And I was like, oh, my gosh, she remember my name. And I was super excited. But then, of course, I had to retain my manly image. So I was like, you know, oh, 감사합니다. Yeah, you know, thank you so much. But yeah, I mean, ASC is a really, really great program. And, uh, you know, I think because of that, you know, a lot of people got to know me. But now we're in the position where you guys know me via music access. So, DN Lee, stick around because coming up soon, we're going to have a lot of new, fresh ideas and fun things coming up. So, don't change the channel. Channel 고정! Alright, now let's check out two songs before we move on. The first song is Pillow Talk by Jeff Burnett, followed by Slow Motion by Karina. Ooh, yeah, baby. We just heard Pillow Talk by Jeff Burnett, followed by Slow Motion by Karina. Two very, very amazing artists. Go check them out. And we're trying our best to introduce all of your messages on our Saturday Corners You've Got Mail and You've Got Message, as well as our Sunday Corners You and Me song, Message Time, and Just Ask Benji right now. So don't forget to send in your messages. If you have any questions for me, let me know. Just ask your questions by writing Just Ask on your title, and I'll answer them for you during the second hour of our Sunday show. Remember, guys, if you want to participate, you can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio application on your smartphone. And you can also send us messages through the app using the comment function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website, www.arirangradio.com slash music access, and leave your messages there on our message board. And it is the end of our Saturday show, but don't worry, because we still have one day left, Sunday show. Our last song for today is Lose Yourself to Dance by Daft Punk featuring Pharrell. This was Benji of B.I.G.N. I'll be back.